The birth of the Frisbee can be traced right back to Bridgeport, Connecticut, and it all started with these famous pie tins. Pretty cool, right? And in tonight's Working for Connecticut, we meet the owner of the rejuvenated Frisbee Pie Company, who's keeping history alive one tin at a time. Founded in 1871 by a gentleman named William Russell Frisbee, that business grew into the turn of the century, into the early 1900s, right through the peak time period in the late mid-40s into the early 50s, at which time the Frisbee Pie Company was producing tens of thousands of pies and delivering throughout the East Coast. I've always played the Frisbee. I've enjoyed it since junior high school in the parking lot. While I was at a tag sale, kicking around just out of college, and I came across a Frisbee pie tin. And the curiosity and the question stuck And what was the history and how, if this is the name, did it become as we know it today, the toy? So from that time period, which is now close to 35 years, I've been digging in and researching and following up and following the history of the Frisbee as we know it. The name, the story, the activity, of throwing the tins, the participation by both college students as well as employees of the factory locally became the international toy that we know today as the Frisbee. My name is Dan O'Connor. I am the president and CEO of the Frisbee's Pie Company, Bridgeport, Connecticut. I've been chasing not only the Frisbee Pie Company memorabilia and history, recipes, but also the plastic Frisbee as a participant in both Ultimate Frisbee, Disc Golf, Freestyle, and Canine. I've actually had a call from somebody whose father worked at the Frisbee Pie Company. Boy, to have a Frisbee pie that might help my father with a little bit of recovery. The gentleman is 97 years old. I had a call from his daughter asking if there's an opportunity or a chance I could stop by and share that with her and her dad just to rekindle some of the memories. So it's really an emotional connection that supersedes the, the actual pie itself. And listen, if you have a Working for Connecticut story you'd like to see featured, just come to WTNH.com, click the On Air tab, and then Working for Connecticut is in the drop down there. And feel free to binge watch all the other Working for CT stories while you're there on the website.